Harris Traffic, Air 3 now, Hotel, Final, 3-2, Harris. Today we have an easy one for you guys, but a must do if you like steak and are in or visiting California, Harris Ranch. It's been one of those bucket list airports and we finally pulled the trigger and went. For almost two decades, we drove that five freeway back and forth from Southern to Northern California and never stopped at this restaurant. Mostly because at that time we had our furry son and we knew we couldn't go into the restaurant with him. And with long drives like that, we just wanted to get to our destination. Harris Ranch is located smack dab in the middle of the Central Valley, so it gets hot and windy, so bumpy flights into here can be expected in the summer. Harris doesn't have any automated weather, but you can always use Limor Naval Air Station's ATIS, located about 15 miles east, to get an idea of the wind conditions. And on your downwind, try to catch a glimpse of the windsock to verify. If you need to, widen your base because you want to make sure you're stable and there are 40 foot tall power lines a little over a quarter mile south. Now wind direction is extremely important because as you can see, it is one of the narrowest runways we've flown into at only 30 feet wide by 2,820 feet long. The only narrower runway was Halter Ranch at 25 feet wide, which if you wanna fly into a winery, I highly recommend since they have pilot only lodging. Now there isn't an FBO, pilot's lounge, or transportation available, but Harris Ranch is a resort, so you definitely can spend the night, rest up, and enjoy a nice dinner. We can't say anything about the accommodations since we only went for lunch, but what we can say is that you get 10% discount at the restaurants for flying in, so keep that pilot certificate handy. Fuel is available. But when reading for flight, it looks like there is possibly a history of the fuel pumps not working. So plan for fuel not to be available or call ahead. We found the price of fuel here to be a little bit more expensive. So we opted not to get any on our visit, but the fuel pumps were working this day. As I said earlier, it's an easy airport. Transient parking is easy to spot since it is at the departure end of 3-2 near the resort. There are tie down chains available that are connected to a cable. We'd probably recommend bringing your own tie down straps as the tie down chains provided were too long for our low wing. So in summary, it's a very narrow runway at 30 feet. There's no automated weather, so use Lemoore's ATIS. Fuel is not always available, so call and verify and the restaurant gives a 10% pilot discount. Almost every pilot we've talked to always asked if we'd been to Harris Ranch and they all have stories of their experience and now so do we, and you will too, which we'd love to hear about, especially if you stayed at the resort. So I've hyped it up, but really how famous is this place? Well, during our departure, we happened to hear this interaction between Oakland approach and a pilot. A pilot we later learned was someone we knew, small world aviation. Now go fly, go discover. Oakland Center, Cessna 20475, direct to start our descent into Harris Ranch. November 20475. Did Harris Ranch your lunch there. Radar okay. service Thank you for that. Uh, radar services terminated. Frequency change approved. Thanks again for all your help. That's not 20475. Get up away. <laughs> I think anything is good there. <laughs> <laughs> 